So now we're going to show you how to make a simple desk in Tinkercad. So I definitely want you to navigate towards your 3D designs and create a new design here. Click on this and you're going to enter into a 3D space just like we had studied before. Do is go to the upper left hand corner over here and you want to make sure that we actually name our files properly. So I'm going to have you change the name of yours to desk because this is going to be your desk. And then also on the bottom left hand corner is actually going to be some of our sizing over here. So I'm going to be putting in some units and I want to make sure everything is to the correct size. So I'm going to hit the uh, workspace measurements or the edit grid here. And we are going to change this to be inches. Um, that way it gives us a default grid properties and we're going to update our grid to show so. Uh, we also have the snap grid settings directly underneath that and you can see that we can actually turn this into a, a partials of an inch or a full inch if we so need to. So we want to be able to use that in our video. Um, and our goal here is to tr try to create a desk and a chair that we will eventually put objects on and surround in a room. So desks are made from simple squares. So first we're going to just click and drag a simple box into our work plane. Um, from here, we can definitely spin around and rotate and check this thing out. And what we want to do is size it for something that would make sense. So a typical desk is uh, usually about uh, one inch tall or so, not very much. So you can actually click on this red dot here in the center. Uh, that indicates the height of the object. You can see it hovers around the top of the object. If you click on that, you can actually go ahead and click the number that's associated with it as well and say one to make that a one inch or one unit object. Uh, we could do the same for our corners here. So if I click and drag or just simply click on the, the corner, I can also adjust these. Now, uh, a simple desk is typically three feet uh, by two feet. Um, so that would be, means we would enter in a 36 on one side. And then on the other, we're going to click and enter in a 24. That gives us our basic desk top. Uh, for now, we can also lift this thing up. So we need to lift this thing off the ground. And a desk normally sits somewhere around 32 inches off the ground. So you can see if I lift this thing up, I can bring this thing right around 32 and that'll give us the approximate height. That's a really good uh, basic starting place to go with. And now we're going to create legs. Uh, so similarly, we can drag another box out because a lot of simple legs are going to be made of boxes as well, since they are mostly square. And we're going to repeat the process we just went through, but for a table leg. Now, every desk is different. Some table legs are wider than others. Some of them are skinnier than others. But we do know the height, we're going to want this to be 31 because that is going to be 32 inches off the ground for the table top minus an inch for the thickness. So we're going to say 31 on the top. And then we're going to click again in our corner so we can adjust both the length and the width. And this time I'm going to make this a, a, a one inch on one side and two inches on the other. That gives us a pretty standard table leg. Now we just need to drag and rotate it to make sure that it is actually going to be where it's supposed to be. And we can go ahead and do that by clicking and dragging here, making sure we rotate around. Um, you can see that I didn't quite make this long enough. Uh, so I'm, I must have created this guy a little too far off the ground. I'm gonna drop him down to be 31. And there we go, we have a table leg. Now it's always nice to put these table legs in the corner if possible. Um, I can go ahead and click and drag that. If I'm looking from underneath, it's easier to see where I'm dragging. And that is a single table leg. We're going to repeat this process for each individual corner. Um, here you can have, uh, you can actually remember to use your copy and paste functionalities to create these so you don't have to recreate that every time. Once you've made one table leg, that's good enough to go. You can just break copy here and then paste or control C and control V on your keyboard and that'll create another copy for you. Now I can take the copy, mine happens to be right where my other one left off and drag that over to the other table leg. 
There we go. Now we got two of them. Pretty simple. Okay. So uh, after that, since we've got two table legs, we might as well hold down our shift and actually select both of these together and then repeat our copy and paste command so that we create the other two. And if I hold down shift, I will constrain this movement to just the one axis and move that along. And there we go. There is a very, very simple table. Now to create the chair, we have a similar sort of uh, rehearsal here. We're going to be doing very similar things. First, we're going to create the chair top. So I'm going to drag out a, a table top here. And these are typically no more than like two. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my unit tall to be two. And then uh, the, the length and the width of these are usually like 18 um, by 24. Everyone's kind of different. Uh, but I can press an 18 on there and I can say 24 on this. Um, maybe a little bit, a little bit off there. I'm, I'm, this is probably more like 12 by 24, 12 by 18. So there is a table. I mean, a chair top. I'm going to move this 18 inches off the ground. Now we are going to create um, some avatars um, that you will be able to utilize to actually make these fit accordingly. But in our case, we're, we are just sort of getting ourselves the very basics right now. So there is the, the top of our chair, or the top of our seat, I mean. I can drag in another box here. Um, this one is going to be the back of the chair, so I can go ahead and click on the side here and drag that inwards uh, and make it uh, two inches as well. And then I could also drag the top to create the back of the seat. And there we have a tabletop, uh, the back of the table. Okay. Similarly to the legs, we can also drag in a box here. And we can make this also very skinny, one inch. And you'll notice on the ground there are grid marks. And each one of those grids equals a single unit. So as I drag this out, you can see it's snapping to every single grid unit. And it measures it for me. So I can actually visually tell and reference how big things really are. I can place this to the edge of my desk here, I mean edge of my chair, and see that this is a very simple, easy way to go ahead and create the most basic form of a chair we can. I remembered we had typed that in as 18, so there's 18, and there we go. The back of this chair is a little bit too thick. I am going to go ahead and drag that back in to make that one. And now we have our very, very, very basic chair. If you drag and select, you can grab all these objects and then group them, turn it into one object, and there we have a chair, and rotate it around. Now this is the basic bare minimum in terms of creating one of these. Um, in reality, if we want to get uh, our, a little bit more complex, we're going to sort of create something that looks kind of like like this. So here we have an example of a more complex desk. And the more features and the more complex your desk gets, the better of a grade you're going to get, or the cooler you're going to get, the, the more you're proving your ability to model. So I'm going to go ahead and model this one up here a little bit. Go ahead and drag in a new box. Again, it's really helpful to type in measurements if you if possible. So I'm going to click here and say 0 0.5. That is the thickness here of this chair. You can see that I'm talking about the tabletop here. Okay, we are going to take this and make this a, a 24 by 36 again 24 on one side, 36 on the other. And that's a little bit longer than what we have in our in our model, but that's going to work for us. Uh, we might have to adjust down. Let's actually make this 30 by 24. That looks a little bit more correct. Now I'm going to move this up again, like I said, to the 31 uh, spot here. So if I click on this, okay, I can adjust this as well directly to 31. And now I'm going to create the box that is underneath this. And I can go ahead and drag another box in here. Uh, do the, my adjustments again. 
you'll get better and better at these adjustments the more you do them. Um, I can see, we don't have exact measurements, but I can kind of guess that the, the height of this thing is going to be somewhere around five inches. Go ahead and move that up so it fits directly in here. Uh, move it out so it also fits directly underneath. Get used to your rotating tools. Those really help and become very handy, especially if you decide to look at things directly from the bottom. It's going to give you a really good perspective. And these can will sort of snap into space. Okay. Uh, another thing you can see that these this desk is rounded corners. So if I select this top desk spot here, the top desk shape, um, I can adjust my radius here to also give it rounded corners, make it nice and clean looking. Now that I've got this, I'm actually going to copy and paste this object underneath as well um, and make it slightly smaller. So right now it's 20 by 24. I'm going to go ahead and adjust that and make this uh, 19 by 23. So I'm taking off an inch on each side. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a hole. Don't forget that we can take objects and turn them into holes. So we're going to take this as a hole and go ahead and move it into this box. Now I'd like it to be precise. So what I can do is actually come on select, drag select all of these objects and use my align tools to make sure that they are exactly where I'd like them to be. I need them to be centered for sure. Um, and I'd also like them to be centered this way. That puts my hole directly in the middle. Not exactly what I need because I actually need my hole to stick out a little bit. So I'm going to select the hole and you could hold down shift and deselect if that helps out. Um, I've got my hole selected and I'm going to drag it out one side a little bit to make it come out a little bit more. Also, I'm going to make sure that it is shorter. So we're going to make that a four, move that up um, 26 and a half. So it kind of has a little bit of space there and then select my outer shape and group them and now I have a desk opening. I've cut the hole out of the desk. Next step is to draw these legs here. Um, again, I'm going to pull out another box. Uh, make sure that it is appropriate sized, probably two inches here, uh, probably one inch in thickness. Um, Let's see, these are probably probably about like so. Okay. Move that into the space it should be. Okay. Move it over here and go ahead and drag that up to give it a spot for it to rest. Okay. Again, it's kind of nice if these guys will align. So if you get used to your line tools, shift to click more than one object and then use your line tools. And I'm going to go ahead and line up these like so. Looking pretty good. Um, again, these are very rounded. So I'm going to go ahead and take this object and round it a little bit. Give myself a little bit of dimension there. Looking pretty good. Uh, and once you've invented one thing, no need to invent it again. So I'm going to copy and paste this as well and move it to the other side. Make sure it has the same amount of space. I want to make sure I'm only dragging on one axis here. Give myself a little bit more room there. Here we go. That's much better. Okay, now I'm going to continue this. I'm going to continue putting the, the bottom feet on and the crossbar across the bottom. So again, I'm going to drag another box. Like most of designing here is really simply just combining simple shapes and altering those shapes to make them the right size and then placing them in the right place. That is most of our modeling here in Tinkercad. There we go. We have a nice little foot there. Um, give it a slight radius as well. That way it has a little bit of shape to it. Move it over. 
and um, there we go. Again, copy and paste so you don't have to create something more than once, and place that here on the other side, giving us ours the other foot. Last but not least is that cross beam in between. Go ahead and place an object, drag it down, make sure that you have changed its width, goes all the way across both sides, lift up into space, and place it as necessary here. Make any of your final adjustments if needed. This guy's a little bit too far. Um, this might need to be using our line tools again. So I'm going to select all of the objects that could be aligned and use their middle align to make sure that they're all snapped up together. And there we go. We have a new desk. Select everything, group, and we have solidified our design. So your task is to create a desk and a chair. And the, the more features it has, the more detailed and time you put into it, uh, the better it's going to look and the better grade you'll get from me. Thank you.